As protests grew throughout Ukraine, the justice minister threatened to halt negotiations and implement a state of emergency Monday after demonstrators occupied her ministry building during the night. I will have to discuss with my colleagues the introduction of a state of emergency. Anti-government demonstrators now occupy three buildings in downtown Kiev, including City Hall, calling for the president's resignation. Clashes with police have become increasingly violent in the past week. Three people have died. We are demanding the resignation of the government and are calling for new presidential elections and a change in the system overall. The protests began in November after President Viktor Yanukovych shelved plans to deepen ties with the European Union in favor of Russia. They're now spreading from Kiev throughout central and eastern Ukraine as well, the base of the president's support. In a city 240 miles southeast of Kiev, several hundred tried to storm a government building Sunday night. Police held them back, but a number of people were injured. Support for the cause has rippled throughout the country. Young designers in western Ukraine spent the weekend volunteering in their own way by creating battle armor for protesters using hunks of plastic drainage pipes. Even though this is not my occupation, I'm sewing the protection for my friends, who could be killed in Kiev. They sent their first batch of homemade armor with friends who boarded a bus Sunday to join the protests in Kiev. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.